Hello and welcome to Illustrate to Educate. You've come to the perfect place for simple and objective videos on topics that matter. Have you ever wondered why can't we remember our dreams? It's amazing that we spend a third of our lives asleep, a good portion of which involves dreaming. But most often you'll wake up and not remember any of your dreams. And even if you do wake up with a memory of a dream or you flew around like Superman, there's a good chance that in just a minute, the memory of that amazing dream will vanish into thin air. When you're awake, it isn't normal to forget recent experiences so quickly, so why is it normal to be forgetting our dreams? It might be hard to believe that you had a dream if you don't remember anything. Some people may believe that they don't dream, or it's been years since their last dream. However, studies have consistently shown that even people who haven't recalled a single dream in decades or even their entire lifetime do in fact recall them if they are awakened at the right moment. While the exact reason is not fully known, scientists have some ideas into memory processes during sleep, leading to several ideas that may explain why we forget our dreams. You are awake, but is your hippocampus? When we fall asleep, not all of the brain's regions go offline at the same time, according to studies. Let's take a moment to look at one of the hemispheres of the brain. The hippocampus is a small curved structure that sits inside the brain. Researchers have found that this region is one of the last regions to go to sleep, which means it could very well be the last to wake up. Here you can see the hippocampus colored in red. But what does the hippocampus even do? It is responsible for moving information from short-term to long-term memory. So you could have this window where you wake up with a dream in your short-term memory, but since the hippocampus is not fully awake yet, your brain is not able to keep that memory. While this might explain why dreams disappear so quickly, it doesn't mean that your hippocampus has been inactive throughout the night. In fact, this region is quite active during sleep and appears to be storing and caring for existing memories to consolidate them instead of listening for incoming new experiences. Did you know that when we wake up, the brain may need at least two minutes to jumpstart its memory-saving abilities? In a 2017 study published in the journal called Frontiers in Human Neuroscience, researchers in France monitored sleep patterns in 18 people who reported remembering their dreams almost every day and 18 others who rarely remembered their dreams. The team found that compared to the low dream recallers, high recallers woke up more frequently during the night. These middle of the night awakenings lasted an average of two minutes for high recallers, whereas low recallers awakenings lasted for an average of one minute. So you can see there's a big difference in the small amount of awake time between the two groups. Another reason we can't remember our dreams has to do with neurochemical soup. Our poor ability to encode new memories during sleep is also linked to changes in levels of two neurotransmitters, acetylcholine, which has to do with learning, and noradrenaline, that has to do with concentration. Both are essential for retaining memories. When we fall asleep, these chemicals drop dramatically. Then, in rapid eye movement stage of sleep, where vivid dreams occur, acetylcholine returns to wakefulness levels, but noradrenaline stays low. Although still a mystery, some think the boost in acetylcholine puts the brain in an aroused state similar to wakefulness, while low noradrenaline reduces our ability to recall our mental activity during this time. This explains why our brains are actively dreaming but not retaining the memory. Lastly, it's possible your dreams just aren't that memorable. Do you remember what you were thinking about this morning while you were tying your shoes? Our minds wander all the time but we discard most of those thoughts as non-essential information. Many of our day-to-day -day thoughts are not retained by the brain. The same could be true for dreams. Dreams, especially mundane ones, may be just like daydreaming thoughts and deemed by the brain to be too useless to remember. But dreams that are more vivid, emotional, and coherent seem to be better remembered. Perhaps it's because a dream triggered more awakening or your dream told an interesting narrative or story. This makes dreams much easier to store. So really, it can come down to how useless your dream was or if it told a good narrative. How can you improve your dream recall? If you are intent on improving your dream recall, here are a few strategies to try. Researchers suggest drinking water before bed because it will make you wake up at night to use the bathroom. 
These middle of the night awakenings are frequently accompanied by dream recall. Remember the study we learned about that compared those who recall their dreams frequently and those who don't? It came down to just a couple of minutes for those who recalled their dreams to successfully store and remember them during those middle of the night awakenings. Once in bed, repeatedly reminding yourself that you want to remember your dreams may increase your chances, and so does keeping a dream journal. Lastly, when you wake up, hang on to that fragile dream memory. Keep your eyes closed, stay still, and replay the dream memory until your hippocampus catches up and properly stores the memory. Did you enjoy this video? Please like the video and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate by clicking on the button below. Also, check out some of my other videos by clicking on the links to the right.